So yesterday I got access to Pika 1.0 and there are a lot of features added in the new version like video in painting, out painting, video to video feature and much more. And today we're gonna discuss all of these features in a detail. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so you guys need to go to the pika.r to access the new Pika Labs website. And this is the website. This is very simple and straightforward interface. And these are the few videos from the other people that I have generated. And these are the few videos that I generated. Now, before moving forward, do you know that you guys can purchase the genuine Window 11 Pro right now for just $13 instead of $200? And this is possible because of our today's sponsor, KeyFans. KeysFan is an online website where you can purchase the premium software keys, Windows keys, and even gaming keys at ultra low prices. And KeysFan supports you with a 24 7 customer support. And you can also check their rating on the Trustpilot, which is about 4.9. That is impressive. And KeyFan supports one of the most trusted payment methods like PayPal. And you guys can even purchase with your credit card. And right now, there is a 50% off on the genuine Windows 10 Pro and ultra low price of Office 2021 Pro licenses so you guys can use this promo code jd50 to get 50 percent off and guess what if you're not satisfied with the product you can get a free refund and many of you guys have asked me why i am not upgrading my operating system maybe because i was waiting for this kind of opportunity so the link is in the description below go ahead and enjoy the discounts now let's get back to our video so first of all we're gonna try its text to video and so in the prompt bar i'm gonna type a cinematic shot of a viking in aggression realistic so next we have the option to select the aspect ratio and you guys can even control the frame rate so we have 24 frames per second maximum i'm gonna go ahead with this one then we have the camera controls here where we have the zoom in zoom out all of the camera control you can even control the strength of motion but i'm gonna go with the motion value one and uh, next we have the option to enter the negative prompt in it and the seed number and i think this is one of the most useful features then we have the consistency to the text by default this will be around 12 but i'm gonna keep it like 25 and now hit generate so this is the output video and look at that this is now looking much much better than the previous version and uh, there is no funkiness going on with the eyes and facial features that we used to see with the pika apps in the previous version and we also have few options here like that retry you can retry this same video like regeneration then we have the reprompt you can edit your prompt and next we have the edit option that offers you a in painting and out painting feature then I'm going to explain you later in the video in detail. And if you want to extend the video length, you also have that option just like the runway ML. And now we have the option to upscale the video. So if you want to extend this video, let's say I'm going to hit extend. So here we have the prompt. If you want to make changes to the prompt, you can do that. But if you want to keep it like simple, hit generate. Okay, so this is the extended version of the same video. And look at that. This is now second, seven seconds long but when it added more seconds in it you can see the things starts to get messed up this is not looking as good as the initial frames so we have one more built-in useful option that is upscaling the video so we're gonna try its video upscaler and for that you just have to click on this upscale button and this will start upscaling your video okay so this is the upscale version of that video and now you can see we have more details on the face and the video quality is now looking much better than the previous one now let's try its image to video and to use the image to video option you have to click on this attachment image or video and now you have to select the image so i'm going to use this image of pirate girl that i generated in the mid journey version 6 so if you haven't watched my video on the mid journey version 6 i will leave the link in the description below and now you can type any prompt here but if you want to get the best results out of it i would recommend you to leave the prompt area blank and same goes with this one you can also control the camera motion so i'm gonna add the zoom out effect in it and the motion strength will be zero so this is the output video and look at that this is really really good and you guys can also notice uh, some kind of shakiness in the video and that's because when we travel on a ship or a boat you feel the same kind of shakiness and that's a really good thing that this AI tool is also detecting that and added a shakiness in the video to make it look more natural now let's try a different image like this one and this is the output video let's look at that and this image is also generated inside of the mid journey version 6 and the output is in front of you now let's try its in painting and out painting feature so you can try both of these features even on the age generated videos and even on the normal videos so i'm gonna upload any video from my computer so let's say i'm gonna go ahead with this video and to try the in painting feature you have to click on the modify region and now you will have this kind of selection bar here so you can transform this square according to you so let's say i'm gonna replace this sky with something else and i'm gonna type a beautiful sky okay so this is the output video and now you guys can see it added a sky in that and also added our trees and grass in it 
and before that it was looking like a ocean and now it's looking like a lake or something now let's try the same thing on the age inverted video so this is the video that we have recently generated and now simply click on the edit button and here again select the modify region so let's say i want her to wear sunglasses so i'm gonna make a selection of that and i will simply type wearing sunglasses and hit generate so this is the output video and now look at that our pirate girl is now wearing sunglasses and you guys can add whatever you want to now let's try its out painting feature and for that simply click on this expand canvas and now you will have the canvas here. so you can select the aspect ratio in what aspect ratio you want to generate the video but i'm gonna go ahead with the one ratio one now in the prop section type anything so i'm gonna type full body and hit generate okay so this is the output video and now look at that it also added remaining part of the hat and she's also wearing a dress here and just like in painting you can also try the out painting on the normal videos that looks really really good uh sometimes it works really good sometimes it doesn't work good so you have to go back and forth now let's try its video to video feature and this is one of my favorite feature so again click on this attachment and now upload the video from your computer so I'm going to use this video of uh, Elon Musk and I just want to give it some kind of cartoonish effect. So I will simply type Elon Musk talking and hit generate. So this is the output video and the results are quite impressive. This is not bad actually. It looks like uh, Elon Musk and we also have that AI kind of effect on the face. So if we talk about the improvements, definitely there are a lot of improvements. And just like Discord version, this is free to use right now and you guys can even generate multiple videos at that time so this was just a quick tutorial on pika 1.0 how to use it and what are the main features and what are the main upgradation here and definitely in the future we're gonna try this tool to its limits so that's it from this video i hope you guys learned something new and if you guys did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one